What's up everybody, it's your boy Jay Rance and uh, I know it's been a minute since I did a video or any type of updates to my profile so I definitely want to apologize for um, my absence and taking so long to put anything new up. Um, last several months I've just been kind of busy, hadn't really had time to really focus on little projects like that. So, um, that being said, I just want to kind of point out that I'm still working with the Yamaha Motif XS and I am still loving this keyboard. I've had it for over a year and a half now and it seems like every time I, I power this thing up I, I seem to find something new about it that um, helps me out in my creativity or um, makes my workflow more efficient. Um, one of the things I want to do with this video is really just encourage everybody to um, that that owns the Motif XS to consider updating your operating system. Um, it's actually a relatively easy process. It's free. Um, all you have to do is visit uh, www.motifator.com. That's M-O-T-I-F-A-T-O-R.com. Uh, it's a it's a uh, motif community where or Yamaha community where you can go in participate in discussion boards and the forums you can download software updates for not only your hardware but also for your Steinberg software in the event that you actually do use Cubase um, for any of your projects so definitely check it out it's a great resource um, I've been aware of it probably since day one when I bought the motif actually so it's a great resource um, so back to updating the operating system. So you may ask yourself, why would I go through the hassle of doing this? Well, uh, aside from some of the bug fixes and um, little tweaks that have been made to address certain uh, technical problems with the, the motif that some users have encountered, they have also found ways to provide new functionality to your hardware. So um, two things I want to highlight in the most recent update that I just absolutely love um, and by the way, I think it's I think the most recent one is uh, update 1.5. So you may have to check that just to make sure I'm correct. But um, two two features that I really appreciate is uh, starting off. The first one is the ability to basically bounce uh, your your master sound uh, or your, your master audio um, into a WAV file. Now, some some of you who have um, used the motif for several years may ask yourself, well, you why why is that why is that cool? Why is that important? Why is Jay Rance even telling me this? Well, previously um, you had to use the integrated sampling function for this to take place, and that meant that you had to purchase memory for the motif, which I actually have done. Um, but you had to have memory in the board before you could actually use the integrated sampling function and then the resample function which essentially captures your, your master outs and um, resamples them into a waveform. Well, if you, you know, have been irritated or you haven't taken the time to purchase memory, that's a bit of a problem. So what, y what Yamaha has done, they've actually um, allowed for you to connect the USB flash drive um, to the, the rear of your motif and um, you can actually export a, a file directly to the USB drive. What this does is it actually eliminates the need to actually have memory loaded up on your motif. So as opposed to spending you know $100 on memory, you go buy you know, a 5 or $10 flash drive and you're able to export your projects. And it'll pretty much, um, actually I know it'll capture any audio output that you have from any, you know, whether, whether it's a live performance, whether it is um, a pattern performance, um, song, you name it, it'll pretty much track everything out as a WAV file. And that's convenient, especially if you're just wanting to put together demo tracks and, you know, you're wanting to critique your own work. It allows you to use the onboard mixer to, you know, set your levels correctly. You can use some of the onboard um, processing if you want to. And for someone like me that, you know, can be a lazy producer at times, it's actually kind of nice because, you know, reality is, is that a lot of the work I do on the motif will probably never, you know, go beyond just being in my project studio and so the idea is that I don't have to spend additional time tracking everything over with my interface to the computer to get my final wave files and that kind of thing so um, so it saves a lot of time and trouble and you know in the event somebody hears something and they, they like it 
um, then I will go through the, the trouble of multi-tracking it out um, to a program like Cubase or Pro Tools and then um, you know setting the levels and starting to you know begin the process of tracking vocals so that's the first thing I like um, about the new operating system update the next thing and this is this is really going to catch the attention of all my samplers out there. Um, I sample a little bit, but not too much. Mostly just drum kits at this stage. I don't I don't really like to dig through records and things like that. At least not right now. But um, the 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 new operating system gives you the ability to actually audition samples directly off of your flash drive. So again, um, users that have actually installed memory on their motifs and have actually used integrated sampling you know exactly what I'm going next where I'm going next the idea is you now do not you're not required to load the sample to the keys before you're able to audition them you can actually just load up your flash drive you go to the appropriate menu in the file system pull up all your waves that are on the flash drive and then one of the uh, function keys will actually become the audition key and you press the audition button once you've selected the file that you want you hit audition and in about maybe two seconds it'll actually play out that entire sample either to the end of the sample or as long as you hold the button down so um, it's very useful especially if you're somebody who has various um, you know or an assortment of hardware software you do all your chops somewhere else like on the MPC or you do it on the computer that sort of thing it's um, very uh, flexible it gives you opportunity now to create folders and, and maybe catalog your, your sounds place them on a flash drive you can then just take that drive throw it in the keyboard access the folders only load or audition what you want only load what you want and then begin your workflow so um, so for me that that's definitely a time saving um, strategy so and it wouldn't be possible without the new operating system update so two main reasons why I think it's really important to to understand um, the benefits of keeping your your firmware current and um, becoming more of a gearhead make sure that you you know your equipment not just you know not just what it can do but what you can do to better use your equipment I think is probably the best way to say it so that being said um, I just want to give one more um, piece of advice or more so just some caution if you are going to upgrade your operating system make sure that you back up all of your work on your motif that means your custom sound sets that means your patterns your songs everything that you've done on this keyboard make sure that you back that stuff up save it and um, and then do your operating system update because when it goes through the initialization process it will wipe out your entire um, your keyboard so um, don't don't get too nervous it won't remove your preset sounds However, um, and, and this really applies to people who bought their motifs brand new, you know, you open the box up, you've already recognized that all of your user um, banks were already occupied with sounds that um, are essentially modified versions of some of the preset sounds. You still should back those up um, because unless I, you know, I, I didn't experience this for myself, but you don't want to run the risk of having some of those original sounds um, in your any projects that you've done and then once you do the initialization you load your old files back up you might recognize that those sounds are missing all of a sudden and that the keyboard has defaulted to the the grand piano for all of your your instrument sounds so be very careful um, back up everything on the keyboard and you should be okay after that um, also while you're doing the backup I'm sorry, not the backup. While you are doing the operating system upgrade, do not power your machine off. Do not turn it off. Um, you'll probably end up calling customer service if you end up doing that. Do not interrupt the process. Once you start, let it complete the process. It is possible to roll back to previous operating systems. Um, I personally haven't done it, but I've read documentation that you actually are able to do it. So get into the documents, look at the manuals, um, check out the readme files that way you can know you know know for, for certain what steps you should take um, in the event that you want to either up, uh, either update or roll back to a previous operating system.